I welcome you all once again. Welcome back for this class. During the last class, we have studied about definition of weightlessness. And now this is another question that is when a tractor moves with uniform velocity, its heavier wheel rotates slowly and its lighter wheels, then its lighter wheel explains why the heavier wheels move slowly, heavier wheel moves slowly and the light. Smaller moves faster. Uh, this is the reason when we know that moment of inertia of a rotating body depends upon mass of the body and distance are from the axis of rotation. There it is. More is the uh, radius, more will be the inertia. Less is the radius, less will be inertia. Because in case of smaller uh, wheel, the radius is small, so that's why to keep the uh, inertia and momentum conserved, it moves with a faster speed. Here it is. The mass of the heavier wheel is larger due to which the rotational inertia is also greater due to larger radius mass. So when the tractor moves with uniform velocity, its heavier wheel rotates slowly and its lighter wheels moves due to large moment of inertia has to move faster to keep it in uniform velocity. So this is the reason why the smaller wheel moves with a faster speed. Uh, because the moment of inertia depends on mass. The moment of inertia of the larger, the, uh, larger wheel is the more due to the large mass uh, to compensate it. The smaller, to keep the uniform uh, velocity of the Tractor, the smaller wheel has to move, increase its speed more so that to keep the inertia equal and to maintain the uniform velocity. So that's why it moves with the faster speed. So this is the logic. What was the question when a tractor moves with uniform velocity? You have to keep the velocity of a tractor uniform. It's heavier wheel rotates slowly. Why? Because its mass is more. More mass means more moment of inertia. And then it's lighter wheels. Why? Uh, lighter wheels moves faster. Why? Because it has to keep the moment of inertia equal so that the this will be the possibility when the tractor will move with the uniform velocity. Thank you very much.